I have tried to start this vlog many times. Every single time I would start, I just won't finish. <laughs> hey my loves, welcome to my channel. Good morning. We have a lot to talk about. Mm. Are you vlogging? I am vlogging. Are we gonna get a vlog? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed you guys. Oh my goodness. What a crazy past couple of months it's been. What a roller coaster of events my life has been. We do have a lot of catching up to do. It's been too, too, too long away from my family, like my YouTube family, and I can't bear to be away from you guys any longer than I have. It would be sacrilege if I don't begin this video as we normally would. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mary Colette here. How you doing? Ah! I have missed saying that. Before we go any further, let's first address the elephant in the room, which is the name of this video. Daniela is every single one of you. Daniela is every single person that has reached out to me throughout my absence. Daniela is my YouTube family that never ceased to comment on my posts on Instagram, that send me the warmest prayers and love. Daniela is my mom that called me randomly one day and said, you haven't posted on your YouTube in a while. Like, what's going on? And I was like, you you watch my videos and she's like of course i watch your videos i'm like of course you do that's how you stalk me and know what i'm up to when you can't reach me or something daniela is this sweet lady that got her boyfriend to send me a mail and when i saw this mail it really 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 warmed my heart and i feel like that was the final straw for me i had been saying i was going to come back i was going to come back i just didn't know when but the moment i saw this mail i was just like all right that's it i have to just suck it up and come back on youtube already the mail reads where is mc so he sends me a screenshot of his girlfriend's message to him which says i wanted to say if you love me make mc drop a new video because i really miss her and it will make me extremely happy to which he replied lmao okay baby i'll make her drop and then he sends me this mail saying hello i'm guessing you're extremely busy with personal stuff and i wish you the best but my girl has been absolutely stressed out by your absence for a while because she's such a huge fan always asking me questions like where is mc is she okay and i absolutely don't have the answer of course you don't have the answer the screenshots attached is her giving me the assignment of getting you to drop a new video to prove my love to her. Now I know you don't know me or Daniela, but I might as well shoot my shots because I know you have mad love for your followers. So if you can, please drop a video real soon. And a shout out to Daniela who would absolutely send her head to Mars. I wish you strength in whatever it is that's keeping you away. And I'm sending this message of love from Daniela to you. I literally had goosebumps reading that and I remember just smiling from ear to ear when I read that email. It was just the sweetest thing and it was just so polite and so warm. It's the little things. So Tiki or Tiki, I really hope I'm not murdering your name. Thank you so much on Daniela's behalf for sending me that email. It definitely also got to me and made me realize that there are people who have missed me, whose lives I touch with my videos, whose day I make with my videos, and who worry about me, who pray for me. And it was just high time I make a video and I come back for people like Daniela, for people like you watching me. And of course, shout out to Daniela. I am not only giving you a shout out, but I'm dedicating this entire video to you because even though like I got so many, like a ton of messages that gingered me and just always motivated me to come back to youtube your email like your message the message from your boyfriend was the straw that broke the canals back and i was like yeah for daniela <laughs> i have to come back for every single person for me for me as well because i've missed you guys i have 
most certainly missed you guys. And so yes, here I am. Did you miss me? Because I missed you too, okay? Second elephant in the room. Where has MC been? Where have I been? What have I been up to? What's been going on? What was the reason for the absence? Oh my lord. Where to begin? Where to freaking begin? Whew. It's been an intense past couple of months. So much has happened. There's been the good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, 2023 was not all bad. In fact, 2023, I dare say, was one of the best years I've had. There were so many milestones, so many things happened in 2023. Ilo and I got engaged in 2023. We moved houses, we had our introduction last year, anniversary, birthdays, Ilo won an award, the future awards, he won that. We had so many reasons to celebrate last year. So even though towards the end of the year, it was really, really tumultuous, you know, turbulent, it was really weird. It didn't still take away from the fact that it was also one of our best years. I also got married. <laughs> I also got married last year yes that's another whole chapter entirely that i'm going to have to get into in another video however the period leading up to our wedding was the most mentally draining physically draining stressful times of our lives it was intense there was so much going on that i just needed to take some time off and just take a step back and just focus on myself focus on my mental health and i was in no place to vlog so many times i started vlogging like i said in the beginning but i just halfway through i wouldn't be able to finish the vlog talk less of edit it i would just abandon it i would start but i couldn't finish i just wasn't mentally there um i have heard that wedding planning or the days or months leading up to your wedding are so pivotal in your life as a couple that it can either make or break you. And when I tell you that those months leading up to the wedding nearly broke us. In fact, I would go as far as even saying that there was a time when we both were like, yeah, let's call it, let's, like, I'm done. Let's just... Let's just end this. When he was like, okay, it's not working. Let's go our separate ways. And this is me just being 100% open and honest with you. And I would say to anybody watching, if you're newly engaged, if you're planning a wedding, draw God close. Ah, draw God close. Because the devil, oh, the devil tried it. The devil tried it in many different ways. It was so bad that a couple of days to our wedding, we weren't even sure if the wedding was going to happen. There was the family factor, there was the difference in culture, because bear in mind, Ilo and I come from two different backgrounds, we come from two different places. I'm Igbo, he's Edo. It was a merge of his culture and mine. There were compromises that had to be made. There was conflict between families you know and it, it was it was crazy you know i remember a few days to the wedding i got a text i remember i was in this living room right on this couch i was sleeping and then i woke up to a text from my friend and she was like did you hear what happened to fola and i remember just like which fola and then she was like oh fola francis and i'm like oh my god some of you probably know fola francis as one of my very good friends one of my dearest friends that i've known for a while now for years now what am i even saying i've known her for years now and i went to twitter and found out that you know fola had gone to the beach and she had drowned I just needed a minute. 
um, I can't talk about her about Fola without getting emotional. I can't think about her without getting emotional. She meant a lot to me. She was one of the warmest, most genuine people I've ever met in my life. She was such a light. And when I found out that, you know, that happened, I remember just, I, I lost it, guys. I lost it because I had been dealing with a lot personally myself and I was already just trying to be okay and just tell myself you know what you're about to get married your wedding is drawing close try and be present be happy I was just trying to psych myself into that mindset when I heard the news and it broke me I pray that for our soul rest in peace I knew she would be in my heart forever. She was my dear friend. She was my very good friend. She was an amazing person and I'll never forget her. I'm only just getting back to being myself. I'm only just getting my mojo back. I'm only just trying to find my feet. Thankfully, things have been settling okay married life has been surprisingly different i didn't think it was going to be different just because like you know ilo and i have been together for like going on four years now and for those four years we've lived together for two plus years out of those four years so i didn't think it was going to be any different from what we've been doing the whole time but it actually feels really really different especially on ilo's part because he takes the role of being a husband very very seriously and it's just like okay i guess i have to do my part as a wife we got traditionally married in emo state nigeria on the 28th of december yeah and as crazy as the planning was we were able to make it work the day of the wedding was like such an amazing day my very very good friends were there Falake, Moni, Debomi, Angel like all my closest friends were there and my family you know they were also there like from home and abroad everybody literally came to see me get married and it was one of the most beautiful days you guys have followed our journey for so long we literally got engaged we've done like had so many milestones that we've shared with you and now we're married like it's the craziest thing we actually are married like i'm a married woman <laughs> pinch me it's still so crazy to me i honestly can't thank you guys enough for your concern for your love every single message every single prayer i don't take your love for granted like i genuinely love you guys and for me this is more than just a youtube channel this is more than just mc's vlogs or mc's videos this is very dear to my heart and it's very connected to my emotions and how i feel and that's why when i'm not 100 it's very very difficult to give you guys anything less than a hundred percent when i'm not happy it's hard to pick up my camera and vlog or record so i just had to take some time to just make sure that i'm fine and just be okay for myself and for you guys because the last thing i want to do is to come on here and just be oh woe is me and all that i was able to vlog some of the things that i got up to leading up to the wedding despite the stress and everything and i'm going to be sharing some of those clips with you guys in this video hey my loves oh my god today is such an exciting day because 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 i'm going to be doing my first fitting today for one of my wedding dresses can you believe it hey god it's insane <laughs> i think it's just it's surreal because we've talked about you know like getting married for time you know talked about the wedding yeah engagement and, you know and all of that and it's 
it was one of the things we put on our list of things that we wanted to do this year. Yep. And the fact that we're actively working towards it is yeah. yeah it's it's actually happening. I can't I actually cannot believe it. It's crazy, but it's actually happening. Um today's out is my first fitting. Um actually i'm doing the fitting for my second dress which is the edo my edo dress it's so cr do you know what is so crazy about this is ever since i was a child i've always wanted to wear like every time we do like traditional day in my church in school whatever i have always admired the edo traditional outfit because it is so rich it's so in your face it's red all the bees everything i've always thought it was so 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 nice oh, thank god you got yourself your bag uh, yeah <laughs> who knew that was... whole time god was like don't worry you know your future has an edo man in it imagine, imagine if you're with, like a yoruba dude or evil guy you'd have said i'm wearing this edo by force <laughs> and i've just worn a shoki or something <laughs> but yeah either ways i'm so excited nervous and excited because my tailor like she didn't take physical measurements of me i had to send my measurements so i'm hoping that i haven't gained too much weight or hoping that i would it was the dress will fit i don't know i'm just a bit you've gained anyway. right i'm just i'm just a bit nervous but fingers crossed we were invited for tomike's um is it Ashwebi party really? or Olori? Yep. Olori is it Olori? Olori Ebi Ashwebi no, party. No, party yeah. with Olori Ebi, yes. Ah, yeah. Party with Olori Ebi Owambe special. And we got the invite and the Ashwebi and everything. I'm not even supposed to. Anyway, by the time this vlog comes out, it would have been after her party because she specifically said in the invite that we shouldn't. Um, like, she doesn't say don't put out the location. Don't put out the also. location, don't put out the date. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so anyway. The date is the 30th of November. Um, by the time this vlog comes out, I've been past that anyway. So, the date is the 30th of November, and today is the 28th. And guess who is just taking her ashwab to the tailor? Oh, well, that's true, just two days. Old. Yep, it's she literally two days to the event. And we're taking... counting three days. Yes, two days. Well, today, tomorrow, and like the morning of the 30th. That's like technically like three days. So, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Today is the day of Tommy Care's party. Today is party with Olori Ebi. So I literally just got my outfit five minutes ago. And it is currently past seven. The party was supposed to start at 4 p.m. I think the most important thing is that we just show up. Yeah, now. what I was asking is... We actually just show up and Bye. honor her invitation. Make I caught this one. Hey, but still be getting ready, oh. oh. Don't say because I'm doing my makeup. As you do what? It starts getting ready now. You don't know me the full <laughs> top. Do you need to shower? No. Once I enter that place now, where one where one shirt, where one day, where one car, where jury. <laughs> What's the sense? Oh, yeah now, okay, I'll try. And, sense. Yeah. I'll try and rush my makeup. Are you the now you supposed to are you the Zuzu? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the longest day today. You can probably tell from my voice like, how tired I am, like it's not even funny how crazy my day has been and like for me to still be going for this event just know that Tomika is someone that i admire like she just she just seems like an like a happy-go-lucky person and i love that about her on mm -hmm. which one you on now he gets something to do with his wife Uma, yeah. Uma. wife yes this, this is my wife guys my dress is on and i suffered a little wardrobe malfunction because of the big buddha <laughs> the but big my domesticated husband over here is helping me use needle and thread to sew it together let's see i really really hope it fits because like i didn't even have time to fit this dress or anything but you ready yes moment of truth here we go What do you want? Mm. You stay. You stay, Abby. Did you kill? No. You sure? Yes. This way I saw. I want this thing now. This Cinderella for back. <laughs> Not real Cinderella. Okay, honey. Uh-huh, honey. Ah! Stop it! Uh, Why no one bought the snake? Oh yeah, do what you like now. Me, yeah, I think dog. it looks better like this, but do what you like baby you think you look better i take your thinking ah 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 
name a better look eh eh ah kiki ski but okay eh 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 <laughs> oh my god we look oh, so good come here hey baby hey my love Mwah. hey oh my little la 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 we look delicious William. Eh. See this baby girl. Welcome. See this baby girl. Welcome. Maybe we are the chaotic. Eh. <laughs> Welcome, my husband. See the girl where I fall for. I ah. fall for. <laughs> Who you can do for? Mwah. Love you. Love you hey, let's go. Cheers. Basically one box and then your tripod. Are you seeing ten? Am I just sun shining? Pink clouds in the sky and everything is right. Imagine stars lighting up the night and a shooting star so vibrant. You have to make a wish Nothing's ever in your way Scoring every shot you make No, you've never heard of pain Come right. with me, guys <laughs> Give us a little tour Oh Beautiful, very spacious area This is the bathroom Okay Ah, nice yeah. Okay. It's a lot of space. Mm -hmm. to, um, have a very nice shower. <laughs> toilet over here. How do you already know? Have you been here? Just let me come here without me before. 
suspecting you. I love the ceilings. This is the best part. Come on. Are you ready? I'm right behind you, sir. This is where the magic happens. Right in front of the Please do us a favor and let us go. Okay. When you lay on the bed, please do us a favor and let us go. Okay. When you lay on the bed like that. Sorry for the They need to oil it. Aww, oh, it's beautiful. Go walk to the lake now. Relax. So if you wait here, I'll show you something. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm thinking of payday. Worried I won't make it. First I think of a delicate thing and then of a break. Hello. <laughs> Someone is clearly enjoying himself. <laughs> You're welcome. So I'm glad you love it. Mwah. Our complimentary. So you guys love I love Lay's. Some Swiss white chocolates. Ooh. Apples. I love Lay's. Hey, my loves. So. We are at Lacroix Lakes, as you must have seen um, when we were like, road trip! Yes, we're doing a road trip to Lacroix Lakes! Yes, beautiful, beautiful place. I chose this place specifically. Always wanted to stay in the cottage and that's what we got. Really, really beautiful place. The only thing I don't really like about this place is the check-in and check-out time. I think the best the best way to enjoy it is to actually book two nights so that you know that you're staying here because we only booked one night i actually came here for a shoot working with nivea i've been using this product for the past one month now and it's really really nice i think my favorite thing about it is how it smells i like the scent and i like the fact that it's not very heavy and one thing about me is I sweat a lot. I think I haven't, I don't know if I've ever said this on my channel, but I have something called hyperhidrosis. That is when like, you know, look it up. You'll see what I'm talking about. But so I try to avoid things that make me sweat. Heavy clothing, heavy creams that, you know, just creams that make, make, makes one sweat. Um, ever since I found out like exactly what I had. So yes so with this cream i love how lightweight it is and just how nice it's set it smells and just how it still keeps me moisturized the whole day anyway this is not a nivea ad i'm just saying i came here for the pictures to take some pictures and make some videos here at lacroix lakes i figured this would be the perfect perfect location for like the idea that i had in mind and from everything i've done so far chef's kiss just shot with a beautiful sunset by the lake. Too, be sunset. too beautiful. It was too perfect. Check in time is 3 o'clock. And check out time is 12 o'clock. And we too, perpetual late commerce, we came at 4 o'clock. So by the time we got here at 4 o'clock, before we settled in, did what we had to do, before I got dressed, filmed, you know, it was already late. Like the sun had already set. But when we then went out to the um there's a walkway by the lake we went there to take the pictures it was perfect like everything happens for a reason because the time we got there was perfect because the sun was just setting and it was so 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 beautiful anyway you guys pretty much get the gist of what we're doing here what we've done um this beautiful dress i'm wearing is from miss k boutique and yeah it's so so nice I love it. <laughs> but yeah, right now we are going to have some dinner. Dinner time.
is this pink number it's so cute and rough so my <laughs> my helper over here is going to help me iron it after he's done ironing his own shirt because ah, ah, you can iron all guys why well, your father is a major <laughs> one of my worst chore is ironing and ironically one of my best chores is ironing so i hate ironing so it's much a, it's a match made in heaven he's gonna help me iron my little play suit and then we can go have breakfast even though we're very very late i'm very excited to see this on you me too oh yeah and riding the bicycle it'll be so nice mm -hmm. oh my goodness so yes good morning good morning hey my loves i literally just realized that i haven't carried my camera to vlog this morning but what have we been doing today we good mother morning, <laughs> good morning bitch but yeah we have been taking pictures making Good videos content. creating content which is primarily what we came here for Welcome so do you understand primarily came here to film for nivia so we've been filming a lot of content like finishing up my reel taking some pictures oh i 100 percent recommend just getting a really nice place like this to create content it just makes your life so much easier like every single place in the every single angle here is a view like everything is a good angle everywhere is a good angle everywhere you turn everywhere you place your camera it works it's beautiful so the work is mwah, seamless you even want to well you want to continue creating content because like you just feel like what can what can i do what can i do with this view what can i do with this um nice place and it's uh, just camera. yeah dress is ironed time to get dressed time to get dressed for breakfast we're actually quite late breakfast is at oh shit Baby, we have to go. Fine, no. Breakfast is at nine. Is at ten o'clock. This is currently nine thirty-two. Let's go get dressed. Let's go uh, tonight. Hey. Hi. Oh, this place is perfect with the sun. Did either of us rub sunscreen? Neither. What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> breakfast time. On our way. Mm -hmm. To get some. Damn, you look so good, man. Breakfast. Oof. I don't need breakfast. I got you. Babe. <laughs> 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 I floored you with that one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. First time. Yes. Can you ride? No, I, I, I rode when I was a kid. Like so, you rode a kid's cousin, bike. Yeah, my I so put your speech. leg on that pedal. So you put you put one leg on the pedal. There you go, and then you just pedal forward. Easy, easy. You gotta balance. Pedal forward. So as you push that one forward, there you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so as you push that one forward, as it's going down, the other big. <laughs> you come and do it. Oh my dear. Here. You come and do it. Uh, I am returning the bike because I cannot, I tried my hardest, but I can't ride a bike and I don't intend to learn today. So I think I'm going to switch this out for a scooter. Uh oh. <laughs> Is this the manual one? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep going. Not the bike doing Wait for me! So this place comes with 
free activities so one of the free activities is cycling so they have bicycles that you can ride um, they also have free activities like swimming and a bunch of other stuff but the one thing that caught our eye was actually the cycling so we said we were going to check it out this morning so after breakfast we decided to just stop at the reception and cycle and just take one of their bicycles um what is that it's so noisy found the noise okay so yeah we decided to just do like some cycling and um, I'll show you guys the clips I'm sure you guys must have seen but I struggled so I left Ilo with it um, so he's really he's outside right now cycling and it is so hot outside <sighs> that sounds great for pictures but not great for cycling so I'm just gonna come in here put on my makeup Put on some makeup and go take pictures in my cute pink outfit. That's the vibe. I was supposed to check out at 12 p.m. It is currently 10.37. So that gives us about an hour, 20 something minutes to do whatever else we want to do. So I want to take some pictures and... Let me take some pictures and then pack up to go. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. See sweat. Come, come, come. Oh man, that was a fun ride. Hey guys so real quick i just thought to show you guys the boxes that we made for our friends <laughs> to put their ashwabi in these boxes came yesterday and i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i wasn't very very impressed with them this one i like because as you can see the falake is like in the middle but i feel like with this it's a bit more to the right I mean, I might be focusing on details that are not very important, but I don't know. It's okay. The boxes are okay, right? They're not the greatest, but they are okay, and they will do the job just perfectly. So, um, the color for the color we have chosen is peach 
peachy pink and forest green so we decided to make peachy pink boxes for the girls and forest green boxes for the boys for the men <laughs> and yeah that's our logo over there i am and then Elo mc23 i love mc2023 shout out to the lady who gave us this hashtag i remember your name but in this very moment i can't remember <laughs> but yeah shout out to you love you like she just she was just in the comment section that day and she was just like oh i can't wait for i love mc hashtag i love mc and we saw it and we're like oh my gosh that is so creative that is actually so nice and yeah your hashtag made it on our made it to our wedding <laughs> I love it so, so I love it I love it so 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 much um yeah let's fill up these boxes why i picked this morning all mornings to start vlogging but this is this is this is reality it's a vlog it's supposed to be realistic so here's my realistic very realistic life <laughs> so far my life lately but um <clears throat> i think i just need to hydrate myself I think I just need to drink a lot of water so I can feel better. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> yes! <clears throat> I'm starting to feel like myself again. Okay. Let me pack my hair. In a way that pleases God, because my mother didn't raise me to be a sloppy bitch. Okay, that's slightly better. My hair has been like this for weeks, and first it was because I was I had a project. Um, I was in a production that required my hair to look like this, but now I'm done filming, and. Now I just don't know what I want to do to my hair. On the one hand, I'm thinking of just getting a wig. On the other hand, I want to do braids again. But I feel like I have done everything I could possibly do when it comes to braids. I feel like there is not one braiding hairstyle that I haven't done. Not one. I feel like I've done 
bohemian braids <clears throat> stitch braids all back bantu knots like name any braid full any braids name it i have done it i'm just over it now at this point if i haven't done it i probably don't like it so i'm just like should i just finally invest in one fantastic wig like one very good wig and just change my look because every single time i pop up with a wig on say my insta stories from like filming on sets because they usually style me in wigs the reaction is always crazy like oh my god you, you look so different you know this you should keep this wig this this that i'm like are you all trying to tell me something are you people trying to say <laughs> i thought you guys liked my braids decisions decisions i don't know i'll figure it out and if i were to buy a wig now would actually be the best time to buy it because like everybody's running black friday sales but the annoying thing about these black friday sales is that they don't even really be black friday like if you're going to do a discount do a discount don't tell me was 106k now 104k please what am i supposed to do with a 2k discount if a wig was formerly like 150k or 200k and now it's 100k mm, now maybe i'll be like okay that's 50% off let's say 5% off and or you say 20% off and it's just 2,000 you're removing a one five it's like come on like be for real so Falake is in Lagos Falake yeah. is like one of my best friends <laughs> since forever so is Sammy I don't know if you guys have actually met Sammy on my channel but <laughs> Sammy and I met <laughs> in nyc camp and we've been friends ever since they both live in england and coincidentally they both came to nigeria for christmas so you know we met up yesterday we went to some place called mantra very very beautiful indian restaurant and the food was oh the food was great finally had indian cuisine saucy but nice like it has a lot of sauce and curry and all these things but like i'm african so this sauce is not is not foreign to me it's not strange to me i really like it so sammy came back yesterday and he got me a little gift i already opened it but i want to share it with you guys anyway so it's this perfume from Giorgio Armani called my way it's also very like floral very feminine sweet so like I'm actually really excited for it. Mm, so good. She did. She did. I look at mess, but give me, let me cook, okay? No, let her cook. <laughs> 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 oh my days! Look at my days! Oh my days! Oh my days! Oh my days! Oh my gosh, this is uh, Ishan. Ish Ishan, 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 Oh my days, you look regal, you look royal, baby. Oh, Princessa. Go home, baby. Don't kill me. Are you from any state? Oh, okay. You're from Edina? No, I'm evil. Okay, hi. Hey. What? Hey.
Lots of the dress that these people were covering. So we didn't really get to see it. my loves look at my face all beat finally done I'm happy to have my freedom back my neck can move one thing nobody tells you about that thing that okuku yeah it's called okuku one thing nobody tells you about it is that it looks cute it looks pretty it looks nice but well, it is heavy you it is heavy as hell like it is literally like I was carrying a bucket of water on my head and not only is the neck the head one heavy so is the one on your neck like the beads are heavy the neck well to be fair the particular lady that did my okupu for me she I noticed that she uses mostly like her beads are like stone, beads, stone yeah, I don't proper know proper beads. proper like yeah. to be honest when she was charging me I'm like what the but I was just like, you know what? I see your shit. I see what you do. So, and I want your shit. So, I'll pay what you're asking me for. And it turned out really good. Like, really, I'm very impressed. But altogether, it's been such a good day. Photographer, 100% as always. Um, videographer, videographer, 100%. Makeup artist, 100%. Uh, makeup artist was she ate with this makeup because I wanted. I wanted it to still be neutral and soft but still have a bit of drama so you can see she did some eye I really like my eye makeup and yeah everything everything was mwah, loved it beautiful so yeah on our way home now tired but happy um, yeah so yeah I just got home from our pre wedding shoot I mean, let me take this off I still have all the goop in my hair from the Okuku person put a lot of gel in my hair to slick it back today is the 18th of December officially 10 more days until our wedding that's actually crazy to think about or to actually say out loud it's been one of the most exhausting 
longest process of my whole life maybe one day I will talk about it but I'm just I'm just hoping you know I'm happy that we've gotten this that we're, we're this close and I can't wait for us to just cross that bridge it's our wedding day ah! Good morning. Gonna be like Alexa, hey, I got be my daughter. I'm very happy to see them spend this time together. I'm happy to witness it, and I cannot just wait to see what the future holds for them. They are two very beautiful people. They're going to make beautiful kids. I wish them the very best. I wish them more joy, more laughter. There's only one person that can bring me to Oweri. It is Mary Collette that can bring me to Oweri town, Imo State, to be exact.